there was a big math exam around the corner. And as the school president, I knew I had to do very well to set a very good example. Plus my dream of becoming an architect was on the line. I knew I had to do very well in math and design and technology. But first there was this concert I've been saving for. V was coming to town to perform his new single. I needed to get tickets and nice clothes to look lit. There was no way I'd miss this. Hey, Molly. Hi, Reps. What's up? I'm calling you. Are you ready for the big math exam? Nearly. It's next week. You know, Marcus gave me a set of revision kits, and if you want, I can cut you a deal. Okay. You don't have to buy them, you know? Just have to take mine and make copies of that place in town. He really did? Sure he did. So what's the deal then? What deal? The deal is you just have to take them and make copies with a low price. Okay, thank you then. Okay, see you again. Bye. Bye. Photocopying of books is a very big problem in our schools in Botswana. Copying other people's work is illegal. Illegal meaning that they are not allowed to do so. They have to abide with the laws of this country. The most unfortunately is that those that are involved in it don't realize that it is illegal. And that by so doing, they are denying the authors a right to earn a living. I had plenty of money for the concert because I made extra copies and sold to my classmates. As a result of photocopying, the author genuinely believes that their books are being used and bought and has a legitimate expectation of being paid royalties. When those do not come from the publisher, there is mistrust that is created and that is a result of photocopying. I didn't realize this was a problem. Plus the revision materials, they were so good and cheap. Vision kits for you. Oh, well. I got this one. Yeah, we all have this. And this one too. Oh, you got them. We all have this, and here it seems like they're expensive. But they are on sale. Where did you get yours? A friend of mine gave us his copy, and we made copies for ourselves. What? That is illegal, you guys. What do you mean illegal? You don't know about copyright? I cannot believe this. This is rude. Intellectual property is a relatively new phenomenon in Botswana, and as a result, we encounter instances where people infringe without knowing. We understand that the best way to ensure compliance to the law is through robust public education. What we have done as SIPA before is to go into public spaces, including schools, to teach kids about what is permissible in the law and what is not. We're going to look at copyright. Copyright basically grants authors and artists exclusive rights over the work that they have created. Can someone give me an example of copyright infringement? Yes, Mili? Making copies of other people's books without their permission. Yes, that's the perfect answer. What young people need to understand, however, is that the Copyright and Labor Rights Act does allow copying. One has to copy only a short excerpt of the book, but not the entire book. Has anyone seen an example of a copied book like this? I was in complete shock after that. I didn't want to break the law. I didn't even know that making those copies was illegal. I had no clue and now I realized that I was wrong. Making copies of people's works is illegal. Once you find yourself with such copies, you need to report them to ensure that you stay within the limits of the law. I decided to throw my copies away. But the problem was that I found them really useful to me. I thought they would help me on my math exam on Monday. And then there was the V concert on Saturday I've been saving for. I didn't know what to do. Hi, 
Hi. Hello. Can I have the extended nuts kit for five? Of course you may. That will cost you 150 bula. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My advice to young people is that if they do find themselves in a situation where they've got a book that has been photocopied, they should not try to do anything with it. They should give it to the teacher and report it. I passed that math exam with flying colors. If there's one thing I learned, is that I know where to get my revision materials and textbooks from. I respect IP.